within a supply chain, uh, when uh, when you look at it, uh, let's take it in a very simple uh, two-party supply chain, you have a supplier and you have a buyer, uh, we are always concerned about the continuity of supply. What happens if uh, the prices are so high that my supplier cannot produce? What happens if the commodities that my buyer buys uh, have such high prices that he decides that he's not going to sell anything to the market and he's going to cancel the order? This continuity of supply, either from the supplier or from the buyer side, uh, or this continuity of supply or this continuity of, uh, uh, of ordering, is a major threat and a major risk within supply chains that firms would like to deal with. And we're arguing that in order to deal with it, you need contracts uh, that uh, need to have penalties uh, when you're going to default in delivering what you promise according to the contract. But those penalties have to be credible, both in terms of their magnitude. Uh, you cannot expect to become rich when your partner fails, but he should compensate for whatever are the implied cost to you as a result of their inability to deliver. But uh, those penalties should be credible in the sense that actually can be paid in any state of the world in any realized uh, commodity prices. And that can only happen if uh, your partner in the supply chain is hedging via financial markets. The financial hedging creates the credibility of the supply contracts that are going to guarantee the continuity of the supply chain in any state of the world. And that is extremely important and that's exactly what we're trying to achieve.